Assassin's Creed Rogue is this year's Assassin's Creed game for Xbox 360 and PS3. It's set in the North Atlantic during the Seven Years' War, which was the global conflict that sowed the seeds for, among other things, the American Revolution. Hey, I did a history! Rogue at first glance is a wintry reskin of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag with the naval exploration, the sea shanties, the harpooning, and the shipboarding. And they've replaced the iguanas with great orcs. But it's not all Black Flag on ice. Here's new footage showing off some of the game's new mission types, so let's see what protagonist Shay Patrick Cormack will be getting up to that Edward Kenway didn't. <laughs> First of the new missions are Gang HQs. The aim of a Gang HQ mission, like this one in New York, is to find and eliminate the gang leader, who is an assassin, then cut down the gang's flag to claim the HQ for yourself. Eagle Vision is handy for spotting the leader, and usually a chase will ensue with the assassin using the usual assassin tricks to escape. Here, however, Shay manages to get the drop on him, by literally dropping on him with a knife. <laughs> Second of the new mission types is the Gang Stalkers mission. Stalkers are assassins who can hide, blend, and attack you a bit like the assassins you encounter near the end of Black Flag. In these Stalkers missions, you must kill all the hidden stalkers in a certain area. They play a lot like a single-player version of previous Assassin's Creed games multiplayer mode. Again, Eagle Vision is essential for spotting the hidden stalkers, and you need to listen out for that whispering noise that indicates someone is hidden nearby. This is the sound of paranoia. They could be blending on a bench, in a group, or hiding on the rooftops. It's basically hide-and-seek, only with more stabbings. I mean, I assume more stabbings. I don't know how you play hide-and-seek. Third of the mission types is the outpost raid. The idea here is to stealth your way towards a target who holds a key to a warehouse. Track down the target, eliminate them, steal the key, and you can let yourself into the warehouse and nick a bunch of cargo, giving you a quick way to grab a bunch of materials you'll need for upgrading your ship. And hey, you put everyone to sleep. Maybe he's decided that stabbing people isn't the right way to- nope, nope, back on the stabbing. Lastly, let's take a look at Shay's ship, the Morrigan. It's got a few tricks that the Jackdaw didn't, such as being able to dump burning oil out of the back, and a charge ram for causing head-on collision damage. Yes, okay, the Jackdaw could get that in Black Flag, but only if you beat all the legendary ships, and ain't nobody got time for that. Trouble is, some other ships have this same ability as well. Get rammed, and you'd better prepare to be boarded. Morrigan also must deal with a few hazards that the Jackdaw didn't, such as icebergs, which can be destroyed with the kind of deadly cannons the Titanic so tragically forgot to install, and there are also areas of the map that lie behind sheets of thick ice. You'll need to upgrade the Morrigan with an icebreaker if you want to get in there. Ice ram is cutting through! So there was some more Assassin's Creed Rogue. Are you up for more Black Flag-style gameplay in an icy new setting, or were you done after AC4? Let us know in the comments, and like and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed from outside Xbox. Thanks for watching! So yeah, I called you guys penguins in the last video. Sorry about that. Really cool.